I'm at Brussels at the uh, Trade Show Exhibition Center, and this is really one of the old great uh, ladies of Art Deco exhibition halls in Europe. Beautiful old building from 1935, survived the war. I've been to shows here. I have some great memories from here. Beautiful, beautiful old building. And ironically, I'm not going to talk to you about trade shows today. I'm going to talk to you about something that I typically like to divorce from trade shows. <laughs> finding distributors and the reason I don't like finding distributors at trade shows is is, is random uh, people walk in they don't know what you're doing you don't know who they are I like to go out looking for the right people so we've talked about putting together the right profile what are you looking for in a distributor uh, we've talked about which countries you want to go into and again you want to choose which countries you want to go into you want to set you, you want to set the profile of the distributor you want to be proactive about this you don't want to let somebody else be pushing uh, the agenda that is using up your resources and, and, and dominating your strategy. So now I know what I'm looking for. How do I find these people? Well, the very first thing I'm going to do, because I've been around for a little while, I have some contacts, is I'm going to reach out to the people I know and I'm going to say, this is what I'm looking for. This isn't the right fit for you. You're not the right type of distributor. We've worked together in the past. Maybe it was fun but I need somebody else. Do you know somebody who fits this profile? I'll reach out to people like that. And, that, and that's sometimes very, very helpful because people I've worked with in the past, they might know a distributor who, who's dealing with a totally different type of line than they are, and they'd be happy to introduce me sometimes. I'll reach out to the commercial office people. And again, you have to be very specific and tell them exactly what you're looking for. And some of them can help, some of them aren't, but you might pick up a few distributors that way. And, and again, once you have one or two distributors like this, you might be able to say to them, hey, do you know somebody who's selling the same type of things you are in other countries? Can you introduce me to other people? That's very helpful. Now, the third thing I'm going to do, and this is the most important thing, is really I am going to put together a list of similar non-competing complementary type products and, and what do I mean by that so as two examples I used to sell ventilators the same people who buy ventilators typically are gonna buy anesthesia equipment they're gonna buy medical gas equipment uh, they might buy um, respiratory monitors capnographs uh, pulse oximeters those type of things right we're dealing with the critical care doctors the anesthesiologists um, I also at one point sold nurse call hospital communication systems and again the people who buy that typically buy uh, wall paneling, they buy floors, they buy beds, they buy lighting, uh, those type of things. So if I can find um, competing uh, complementary, if I can find complementary products that are sold to the similar purchasing people at a similar price point, at a similar time in the decision making process right then i know that those distributors are going to be fantastic for selling my product if if they're successful and i want a product that's similar to mine if i have a budget product i want somebody who's selling budget products if i have a premium product i want somebody who's selling premium products so if i can come up with, with a list of say five brands that are complementary to me i'm going to reach out and i'm going to see if i can get the list a list of their distributors and it might be as simple as going on their website and they might have it there i might be able to go on linkedin and find it there or i might reach out to their uh, sales managers and say look can you help me out here i'll owe you a favor sometimes they'll say hey i'll, I'll do this i want a thousand bucks a name or i want you know a point or i want something and then i'll think about it i don't like doing it that way but if i have to Sometimes I will. I'll pay a fair finder's fee. But typically by doing that, um, and, and nine times out of ten, won't cost you a penny except for a favor sometime in the future. right? But doing that is a great way to pick up distributors who are going to be able to sell your product, who are selling to the right people at the right po price point at the right time. Remember, when you're ready to grow your international sales, reach out to us. We can help. When you decide it's time to grow your international sales, call us.